Good afternoon. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Let's get motivated. The voice you believe will determine the future you experience. So listen to it. Great moves of God are usually preceded by simple acts of obedience. I have nothing to prove because I am already approved by the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to change the direction of your life, change the declaration of your lips. It shouldn't freak you out to realize that God's eyes are on you as we speak now, because he doesn't see you through eyes of disapproval or disappointment. His presence is not a sign of condemnation. It's actually an invitation. God is present with you through his Holy Spirit because he intends to uproot you from the tyranny of familiar shattered and monumental life you've had and take you on an adventure each and every day. Friends, one of the enemy's most effective strategies is to get you to focus on what you don't have, what you used to have, or what someone else has that you wish you had. He does this to keep you from looking around and asking, God, what can you do through what I have? The reason why we struggle with insecurity is because we compare our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlighted reel, and we shouldn't compare. Jesus will always move away from religious drama and toward the needs of people who are hurting. Jesus will always go out of his way to find and minister to people who others will go out of their way to avoid. I love him for doing that each and every day. The death of contentment is comparison. My joy is not determined by what happens to me, but what Christ is doing in me and through me. Would have, could have, should have. This is a language of condemnation underscored by the uh, passivity of regret. It's a dead language. The thing is, you can't unsin. You can only repent. Today's excuses, my friends, are tomorrow's regrets dressed in disguise. So stop with the excuses. I don't believe God's called me to survive the world, but to change it for his glory. Be governed by your calling, not your circumstances. Audacious faith is not passive. Neither is audacious prayer. Every aspiration you have in prayer needs an accompanying action. Otherwise, you've not only, uh, uh, you're not only really praying, you're just pontificating. You do the natural. Trust God for the super. When your perspective is preloaded with the word of God, lies loose their power over your life. You can fulfill your calling in your comfort zone. Gratitude begins where my sense of entitlement ends. Every heart has atmosphere. What is the atmosphere of your heart as you're listening or watching me? Nothing good develops in an atmosphere of anxiety. God guarantees that his word will not return void. He doesn't guarantee that the return will be immediate. Just keep sowing the seeds and let God water that seed. Call me, 844 help together you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile will take you a long way in life and can really help other people in their lives too. I want you to know, for God so loved the world, that he gave us his son, John 3.16. Can you imagine giving up our children for the sake of humanity? Well, God did it for us. And God bless